Hey y'all, you already know what time it is. We finna get into this tea, this Divine Feminine Tay Road Tea, this Tay Road Tea. Um, if you like what you see over here, please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to get some of this good old all-inclusive tarot that we got popping up over here. Hit the bell if you want to be here every time that I'm here. Um, the energy that I am getting, okay, because uh, I am reading, I've just read energies tonight in these particular readings. Um, the energy that I am getting tonight, y'all, we have a feminine energy here that is showing up on the board. Um, and I'm not really sure what her deal is um, at all. Um, mm, somebody that seems a little haughty toddy, a little angry. Um, I don't know. Okay. Okay, there's some immaturity pregnant present with her. I can't tell you that growth in the reverse. Okay, this is an immature feminine energy. Who has had a failure to adapt. Okay, she's had a failure to adapt. Um, okay, a failure to adapt. Mm-hmm. We see a King of Cups energy coming through. Okay. And there's a masculine energy, um, perhaps even to her, okay? And she's burdened. She has a heavy load on her back. Um, it's a very kind of... Uh, kind of getting cancer energy, like there's a sensitivity. Okay. this person has gone stoic they've kind of gone cold emotionally like they're, they're keeping their emotions to themselves i won't say they've gone cold um they've gone stale is what i'm hearing um and they've got something to hide they've got secrets they've got secrets some of them they feel make them better than other people some of them they're ashamed of some of them are very ugly. Um, some of them could even be like they've done something really messed up. This person has um, secrets that are weighing on their conscience. Okay. And draining them. We see invigorate in the reverse. This is a very drained feminine energy. So drained and so full of seems like kind of mental health stuff or uh conflicting thought patterns that at this point they're they're actually in a space of adversity okay this person is actually like having problems now okay we had these cards jump out the deck y'all seen it y'all see yes i said synced. y'all seen it okay okay this person this person really needs to grow up first of all we see build Right on top of growth in the reverse. Um, we see page of swords in the reverse. This person isn't adapting. And they seem to be perfectly okay with that. Okay. And whatever vices and challenges these are that are that are biting away at their conscience, they're they're not they're they're okay with it. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Um they're not they're not working on changing that narrative at all. Okay, eight of pentacles in the reverse. Um, they've got a burden on them in terms of their conscience. However, you know, that burden is one that they just kind of lay on other people. It looks like the hermit is in the reverse. Um, you know, they're very weak to whatever this vice is. And currently they've become quite peculiar. Okay. Whoever this feminine energy is. Um, we're, we're pulling a lot of male energy. Okay. And she's, she's become quite peculiar at this point. It's a very peculiar energy. Um, someone that may be frequenting certain types of clubs or places in secret in order to soothe the fact that they are immature and unable to kind of grow past certain spaces and points. Um, in order to soothe their weaknesses, okay, 
pursue their weaknesses. This person is uh, kind of in a space of humility as it relates to family. They may be running away from family, dodging family, hiding in the house, not speaking to people. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This person is going so deep into whatever this is that's biting away at their conscience that they're actually Ten of Cups. Um, humility and Ten of Cups, the Hermit, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. They're running from people. Um, this may be what, why this person showed up on my board. They might want to tell someone in the collective where they are. Do you have a, a friend or a sister or a cousin that you're just like, where the fuck are you at? What happened? Um, maybe they're out of town and now you're like, well, you know, what happened? You know, um, maybe you guys work together and they just, they stop, you know, being communicative. You know, they may be physically present, but they're still not present, if you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, Four of Cups. They have suddenly kind of withdrawn. They're refusing to accept affection, contact, conversation. Once again, we see with the Ten of Pentacles again, they're refusing to accept calls. They're refusing to accept conversation, okay? They have retreated. They have retreated and they're no longer making themselves available. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. They've gone from being out and about with people to just being alone. Okay? And no one is really understanding why Seven of Wands. They're not making a statement. Seven of Wands in reverse. No one is seeing them. They're not trying to be seen. They seem to be discouraged. They're hiding. But we see this judgment card coming through. What do I tell y'all? That's them church bells ringing. Okay, we do see the reckoning coming through. The church bells just came in with some type of message, y'all. Um, this person is taking... The, listen, something has happened. And this person is descending. This is a feminine energy, y'all. This is a feminine um, energy. Though it could be a male or a female. But this is a feminine energy. Let me tell you something. They're descending into some kind of a madness. And they, they're they they're kind of trying to... They're staying away because they're trying to stabilize before they're seen. Okay? But there's some dark, sneaky behavior going on with them. Seven of Swords. And it's getting worse. There's, there's, a, there's a sickness and a demon that is running away from them. And it's keeping them poor. It may be eating up their money. Abundance in the reverse. Somebody is in some serious, uh, under a serious demonic attack. Okay. And they need to do some type of purification. This person is, um, this person that you're not seeing, they have gone into a very dark and demonic space. And they have no protection. Something is weighing on them. Something is working on them. Something is beating on them. Okay. Um, period. We see the death card in the, rever the reverse. This person is going from maybe they were up, they were out, they were chipper. They were actually coming out of a space of depression to going back in it. And now they are subdued. They are being choked back into a dark place. Okay. Um, if they're in a relationship, they're kind of falling out of that. They're kind of being subdued even in that relationship. They may be stuck thinking about the past. Three of Wands in the reverse. The devil in the reverse. This person is in a place where they are now obsessing. They're having repetitive thoughts. They are losing control. Okay. They may be drinking. They may be talking too much to the wrong people. People that mean them no good. People that help them stay in their vices, whatever these vices are that have their conscience. So, uh, you know, troubled. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. They're, they're kind of losing some of their valuable resources. They may be struggling to get to work. Um, they're dealing with an imbalance. Yeah. Their world is upside down. And this is going to go on with them for some time. Ephemeral, okay. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. And they're really a bitch. Queen of Swords in reverse to the people around them right now. Um, they're in a very, very, very... Dark hole. Right now. Okay. Whoever this energy is. Um, you haven't heard from them. You haven't seen them. You might think it's strange. 
they have gone down into the dunes. Um, okay. Okay, we had a car fall out. Is there a point that you can expect to hear from them? Is the question we're going with next. We see the Queen of Swords in the reverse once again. This person is upset, okay? They're not looking to come out anytime soon. We see the Hanged Man in the reverse. And then we see the Hanged Man in the upright. Um, this person is, is going through the moon energy. This person is going through it, Okay? Their mental health, their their, their self reflection. They've done something that has, they have seen something or engaged in something that has triggered some kind of illness in them, and they just have no clarity. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Okay, and their love for others right now is very shallow. Page of Wands, Page of Cups. They're just not even that interested in other people. They're in a space of total injustice. Justice in the reverse. Two of swords in the reverse. Okay. We do see them opening up once they cry out to God. This person needs, there's nothing this person can do but go to God at this point. They need spiritual healing because they are completely unfulfilled. What is it the person, child, this and what's the problem? What, what's eating them? Why are they in the dark like this? This is, I don't know who this is in the collective, y'all. It could be a friend, family member, but somebody, y'all got somebody around you that's going through something. This person, again, they've been sneaking around. We came out the gate with the Seven of Swords. This person has a life that you may not know they have. Seven of Swords. They've been sneaking around. Okay? Sneaking around, we see the King of Swords. Sneaking around the King of Swords, Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. We see the Seven of Cups. Okay. This person has been doing a lot of sneaking around. Sneaking away from authority. You know, refusing love, refusing help from loved ones, living in a fantasy world with their cup overflowing, Knight of Cups energy, that's interesting, with their cup overflowing, okay? Maybe a love addict of some kind, relationship addict, their cup is overflowing, they're overindulging in love or in sex, finding themselves guilty, spending money unnecessarily on these things, maybe even spending money on sex. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Queen, Queen of Swords. This person, um, yeah, this person may be um, a lesbian. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of, Queen of Swords. Okay, and this person has been possibly engaging behind someone's back, even with male energies. They've been spending money on different things sexually. And they're constantly living in a state of guilt um, they're betraying everybody. It's as though no one really knows them. They're double-crossing everybody in these sexual liaisons and things like that. This person is double-crossing everybody and their life and their mind has just become a total mess, the tower. Their life and their mind has become a total friggin' mess. Okay? The tower. Their life is a mess. Their tower and the knight of pentacles with the two of cups. They may have even brought some bad news or some type of infection back to somebody they consider to be their soulmates. Because they've been double dipping and double crossing, um, you know, they've been basically being two different people to two different women. And there's a man over here. This person has been, been a, you know, uh, I'm hearing might as well face it, you're addicted to love. What was that, Robert? What was it, Robert Palmer? Was it might as well face it, you're addicted to love? They was out there in them little dresses with the red lipstick. They was killing them. That was that 80s goodness right there. I hope I said it. Was it Robert Palmer? Anyway, um... Yeah, this person has been doing so much double dipping and flipping and dipping. 
Um, they have basically lost any sense of their crown long ago. They have really descended down into karmic waters. Um, I get the feeling that at one point they were not in the, in those spaces. They've fallen down into the hell realm and they can't get up. They can't get out. Again, this is somebody that needs to call on God. They can't even go to a friend at this point, a therapist. They need to call on the Lord because they're in a spiritual warfare. Okay? They're in a spiritual warfare. They're in a demonic attack. Okay? Um, and they've lost control. Um, this person has violated their soulmate. Um, and, and the communication between them and this person has quickly died. Okay? It has quickly died. Because of whatever it is they gave them. Page of Pentacles energy. Okay, we see the Knight of Swords. We see the Four of Swords. Knight of Swords, Four of Swords, Page of Swords. This person's mind, y'all. Their mind is no good. They're dealing with anger. They're dealing with the thoughts of unaliving. They're dealing with the thoughts of doing something drastic, okay? Um, this person's mind is not healthy. Um, it's a bit of a minefield. Um, they brought a lot of drama and problems, at the very least, back to their significant other. And that person has just really gotten the hell out of their way um, due to whatever they brought back. It, it has gotten around the community. Maybe they have some friends. There are some things that have gotten out. Three of three of pentacles, five of cups. There's some things that have gotten out. Okay. And this person is in mourning. Okay. This 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 cousin of yours or friend, or whatever, they're in mourning. Okay. They're in mourning. They're really trying to keep some control of themselves and keep some poise. And they feel the only way they can do that is by not being seen. Um, they are trying to put all of their attention on their attention on their soulmate who has basically said, fuck you and your nasty lifestyle. Okay. But they're still trying to somehow pour into that. Okay. We see this King of Cups energy coming through again. This is someone that is not quite being forthright with their emotions. Period. Um, they have completely gone outside of any tradition or expectation for the relationship they were in or the life that they were living. Um, and they have become a slave. They've become a slave to their vices. They've become a slave to their sexual habits. Okay. If anything you could offer them. It is wisdom. If they do reach out to you, you can't offer them wisdom. Um, you can show up as a steady rock for them. Seven of Wands in conversation. And you need to be very frank with them. Ten of Swords that the way they're living is whack. Okay, just say it. You need to be very clear. You need to be so clear that you're almost merciless. Okay, you make it very clear. Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. Because this person... No one is being honest with them about how foul their situation is, okay? And they will make another leap into the, the abyss of the fuckery that they're living in, okay? Um, they will do that again. Um, I'm getting the vibe. These people may be getting involved with younger people now. You don't know this. I don't think younger as in like, you know like illegal but younger as in they're running around with very immature people remember this person is also very immature they may be grown but they're very immature so they're running around with younger people and if they continue to run around with these younger people they will find themselves in a legal problem no it won't be that type of legal problem but it'll be like that person may ace of wands that person may become obsessed with them and that person may not leave them alone. The lifestyle this person is living, yeah, and it will be a masculine. The lifestyle this person is living, they're going to uh, bottom out and run into some really crazy and demonic spirits. Uh, like the kind that it could be detrimental to a person's health if they don't get out now. Um, 
And judgment will befall them if they don't get out now. Y'all know I say that judgment card is and church bells coming through to let us know what's tea. Um, if they don't get out now, judgment is coming to them. It will come via a very independent feminine energy lover. They will get a feminine lover. Okay. And she too will be obsessive and problematic for them. This sexual problem that this person is having, addiction it seems like, if they do not get out now, the demonic entities that they encounter moving forward is going to be bad, okay? And if you speak with this person, communicate this to them. Look at all these black birds flying towards them. Look at all these black birds flying to them. These people have so many demonic energies coming to them. That's why they're always sick and in mental anguish, okay? Their demonic energy is coming towards them. If you speak to them... Here's a yellow rose energy. Remind them that there you did have enthusiasm for the friendship. If there are other things they could be focused on other than sex. Um, remind them the importance of nobility and self-esteem that they used to have because this person's mental health is in decline. And don't let them trick you into thinking that it's not. Okay? Uh, devotion and dreams fulfilled. Remind them of their goals. Maybe they need to focus on something else. Okay, anticipation, remind them that there are other things to wait for and think about other than the sex. Okay, uh, unanimity and harmony, um, remind them he who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. That's a quote from Marcus Aurelius. Remind her of this because she's in disharmony, total disharmony, and she's headed for a brick wall. Always joyful. Um, I'll write it, write it on your heart that every day is the best day of the year. Ralph Waldo Emerson, this person is in a sex addiction because they're in depression. Okay. And someone needs to remind them. Okay. That there is life outside of that. Um, this person also has resentments about money, but this is because they're spending some of their money on their sexual appetites. So they have a lot of bitterness and anger and shame attached to their money. Uh, maybe, you know, if they ever speak with you about the money they're spending on, on you know, who knows, web apps and, and, and clubs and strip clubs and tricks and who God only knows. These young people, they running around with taking them to, to Burger King Lady Night and Buffalo Wild Wings and all this types of shit. You know, um, uh, you know, Smash Burger and I, maybe remind them, hey, you know, out here buying little girls' pocketbooks and shit like that. Oh, I bought this little young John, this little 24-year-old pocketbook. You know, maybe remind them, you know, release you, you out here. First of all, you out here being a whole trick. You need to get your life together. Okay, what the fuck? Please remind them they are living in chaos and a what the fuck moment is coming to them. And be off, like, offer to communicate with this person. Because... This person is, they really are in trouble and more trouble is coming. Remember, they feel lost and they actually do miss you. They do miss talking to you. This person has, has gone so far down the rabbit hole with these problems and started to take, I'm, I'm getting about, they're taking, they're taking part in such, they've really become a real low life just to make it plain. Okay. They've become a low life in their own mind. This is how they see themselves. And after some act that they've done or maybe some things that they did, um, they're hiding. I'm saying this could be someone's sister. It could even be your daughter. Okay. Um, but understand that this person is hiding because of their mental health and because they're having a hard time looking themselves in the mirror right now. They're ashamed. They're angry. So when they do reach out, you know, you, you, you want to give them some clarity because if they continue on like this, it's not going to be good. So, if you enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, and that's like I always be telling y'all. Hit the bell, and I will catch y'all in the next one.